Hi there and welcome back. So in this part of the course, we're going to take a look at creating the analytics or the statistics screen. So what that is going to do is basically when I click on any one of these videos, it's going to open up a new page with all the different statistics that it provides me. And this is going to be a little different uh, because the screen is going to be longer than the actual artboard size, which allows us to scroll up and down, which makes it more realistic because usually apps are not single page. You can scroll up and scroll down and there are a lot of things uh, that you can uh, put in one artboard. So uh, we're going to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select, press Ctrl C and paste to press Ctrl V. And there we go. And I'm just going to go and rename this to statistics so i'm just going to call this statistics screen so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to select and delete a couple of these elements which i do not want and uh, this dashboard i'm just going to go and change this to statistics all right that's good and i'm going to select the rectangle over here and just shrink that up teeny tiny bit and uh, we can make sure that we can select all this. Let's group all these together, okay? And then we can select each of these elements and then we can, you know, just uh, vertically center them and we can move them up so it's perfectly aligned and uh, that's looking great. And I'm gonna take the uh, Avengers one. So I'm just gonna select it and then just move it up by holding down shift and make sure it snaps right there. That's good. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click and choose uh, ungroup, uh, ungroup that. Let's zoom a little bit closer. There we go. And uh, this time I'm just going to go and just delete these two. And the Avengers, I'm going to put it to be, I want it to be in the center. So I'm just going to click here to center that. And let's go create a simple, small, tiny rectangle. Uh, let's make it black. And we don't want any border and probably reduce down the opacity of this to 80. And uh, let's go and as you can see, I can't see the Avengers. So I'm just going to go into my layers panel. Uh, okay, so we have the Avengers. Let me just put that on top and it comes on top. That's brilliant. Let's close this up. Probably reduce down the opacity of this to 70% or even 60%, whatever looks good. I think that's fine. And we're going to go and change the icon of this. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to go back to my original project, copy this and just paste it over here. And uh, let's see if it let's place it exactly over here uh little movements and uh, that looks great so this is basically a button to go back to the main menu and this is to get additional options which is the navigation bar okay so now it's time again to make more calculations so let's bring up our calculator okay so there is our calculator and let's calculate so this height is 70 and this is going to be 160 so i'm sorry 157 so let's add 157 plus 70 and uh, that gives us 227. Now what is the height of the entire project? It is 640. So 227 minus 640 gives us 413. So this height from here to here is 413. Now we're going to want probably let's say five um, uh, statistical data so I'm just gonna go and divide this by 5 and click on equal to and that's gonna give me 82.6 I'm just gonna round it off to 82 point uh, I'm just gonna round it off to 83 so let's do that so let's go and grab a rectangle and just draw in a rectangle make sure that this is 83 okay looking good we don't want any bars so let's get rid of that and we can select this and set this to a black color and uh, the up here we can just reduce down the opacity of this to 30 so it uh, you know blends well with uh, the background and now we can go and add in our text so i'm just going to copy the avengers hold down alt and shift and just bring it down and uh, we're going to make this uh in the front so the avengers again went back so we can go back over here and this is the avengers the second one we can move this up and we can close it. so the layers panel becomes very handy when you want to move around things you know rather than going right click uh, arrange and move all this stuff. So this is going to be complete white, which is fine. And we're going to double click on this and change this to real time views. Okay. And I'm just going to go and center this. So it's in the dead center and you can make a copy by pressing control C, control V. And uh, this time we're going to reduce the size of this to 10 and we're going to center this as well and just bring it slightly down. 
like so. And I'm gonna double click on this and I'm gonna type in 48 hours. So it basically gives me the uh, number of views I get, I've, I've got in the 48, last 48 hours. And we can select this again, make a copy. Let's uh, bring this down and double click on this and add in a number. So let's say 560, it's a pretty big number. And we can close this up and let's make this pretty big. So let's say 20 or let's say 35. Okay, 35 is a good number. And let's just center this, bring it slightly down. And uh, that's looking really good. Now, assuming I want to change uh, this from 48 hours to let's say uh, one day or a couple of days or you know just uh, a few minutes uh, i'm going to add in a gear icon which is going to be my settings so i'm just going to go here to my original project copy this and i'm going to place it right over here and uh, oops so we're going to select the gear icon and just place it roughly in the corner so it sits right there now we're going to be using the symbols um to help us with this for example i want to change the color of this now what i'm going to do is actually select all of this and then use a repeat grid and fill this up with all my other statistical data and uh, that means this that this this gear icon is also going to change now for example i i want to change the color of this gear icon maybe the client doesn't like it and i'll have to come and choose each of these individually and change the color Instead, if I make this a symbol, it's going to make it very fast. And because if I change the color of one, the color of everything else is automatically going to get changed. So that's very handy and very important. But before I do that, I'm going to select my text over here and uh, just move this up. So it's, it's pretty in the center of the document. Yeah, there we go. That's good. And uh, let's go and click on this, which is going to give us the symbols. And to create a new symbol, I can select an object and click on the plus icon like above. So I'm just going to click on this and click on the plus button and that's going to make it into a symbol right over here. Now, how do we use the symbols? I'm going to show you in a minute. Now, before we group this, I'm going to add a very small and a thin line just to differentiate it. So probably I can just use the line tool, click, hold down shift and come over to the edge and just release. And we just need this very small thin line. Okay. And now I'm going to go and select the line, the box, the gear icon, the text, Okay, and I'm press Ctrl G, which is gonna make it into a group. And now I can click on the repeat grid icon and let's move this down until we get our five different statistical data. So one, two, three, four, five, and I'm just gonna shrink this down uh, so it fits exactly like so. And uh, there we go, that's looking really good. Now, we want actually seven of this. So I'm gonna click on the repeat grid again and this time we're gonna wait for two more. So that's seven. So this is gonna be six and it's gonna be seven. And I'm just gonna release it right over here and, and just release. But we still can't see it and that's because my artboard isn't big enough. So I'm gonna select my artboard and I'm just gonna go click over here and come down and lock this up right over here. But now we still can see this and that's because our background is only till here. So I'm just gonna go into my layers panel, click on my statistics screen, double click over there to, to open it up. And we want the background image. Oh, so the background image also needs to be scaled up. So we are going to go and unlock it. And let's just scale this up pretty much like so until it snaps, that's looking good. Also, we wanna select the shadow layer, which is basically the background and bring this down and make it snap, make it snap. And that's looking fantastic. Let's close this up. And you can now you can see that this part, uh, this artboard is bigger than this and it's gonna enable us to scroll when we create the prototype. Now let's see how the symbols are going to work. Now, now since this object, this gear icon is my symbol, and how do I know it's a symbol? Because it's sitting in my symbols panel. Every time I make a copy of this and put it anywhere and I can choose any one of this copy of the symbol and change the properties and that's going to automatically apply the same properties to the rest of the sim rest of the copies of that symbol. Why? Because that is a symbol. And let me just show you what that actually means. So I'm going to zoom in over here and I'm going to right click and choose. Um, okay, it's already ungrouped. Yeah, it's already ungrouped. So I'm going to double click on the gear icon. And if I go to the fill and just change it to red, you can now see that my symbols panel has been updated as well as all the copies that we have made. 
but if I don't uh, make it a symbol, it's not going to make any difference to me. So let me just control Z that. Now, if I take this 560 text, which I've created, now this isn't a symbol. So if I go and change the color of this to red, only this gets changed. So that's how symbols are used. So now I'm going to go and just pause the video and I'm just going to go and edit all this data uh, to something more sensible, which is obviously not 560 for everything. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys, now I have come back and I've made all the changes that I need to this and this is looking really good. Now, one thing sometimes you might notice when you're creating artboards is uh, in your artboard, you're going to see something called as the pasteboard. Now, we have the statistic screen, menu screen, sign up and the log screen. But what is a pasteboard? Now, what actually happens is when I made the... Now, what actually happened was when I increased the size of the artboard, I still had an element over here which is a part of the artboard, but it is not actually inside the artboard. So that is going to be uh, under a group called as the pasteboard. So if I go to my pasteboard, you can see this line, which is actually over here. Now to get rid of the pasteboard, it's pretty simple. I just click on the screen and I can just go ahead and increase the size of the artboard till it fits my elements. And now if I just click away, you see that pasteboard is gone because that line is now a part of my artboard. So that's one cool thing uh, you guys can have a look at. So that's the end of this part of this course. In the next course, we're gonna take a look at creating the navigation bar, which is basically when I click on these three horizontal lines, it's gonna open up a navigation bar with settings, properties, options, and a lot of other stuff. So I'll see you guys in the next video.